Why aren't speakers evolving? Well, there's a good philosophical question for you, and it comes to us from Venkat in Chennai, India. Why speakers are not evolving, like the transition from bulk CRTs to sleek and vivid LED panels? Uh, what makes these audio producing devices to be in such a primitive form factor since the date of their invention? However, these video producing devices unimaginably changed its physical form from those big tubes to, you know, slim panels that we can hang up like pictures. And we keep hearing of improvements in technology of, you know, day by day. What stops speakers from doing that? Well, that's a really good question. I think the quick answer to that is televisions and cell phones and you know fancy watches and electronics are limited only by the imagination, battery size, physical appearance, the ability, I mean, this watch could be even smaller, but if it got a whole lot smaller, I couldn't see anything on the screen, right? So, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm, what Google had those glasses that you could see through and then, you know, stuff would appear on them. Google Glass, whatever it was. So all that's evolving pretty quickly because science is able to, uh, it pretty much sky's the limit. But when it comes to sound, we've got certain basic limitations that are going to always get in our way. Just like an airplane, right? I mean, airplanes have gotten pretty fancy. I mean, from the Wright brothers to today, where you've got, you know, a 787 Dreamliner, there's a lot of difference. But a 787 Dreamliner still has wings, still has a tail, still has a, you know, I mean, it's essentially the same thing with different power and a larger size than the Wright brothers' old thing. And it's got all the fancy electronics, but it's still a plane. Why? Well, you still have to be able to go through the air and, and get lift. So really, I mean, even a helicopter, a helicopter is a, is a you know, that, that spinny thing on top of the helicopter, that's a wing. Th those are, that's called a, a fixed wing, or no, the fixed wing and rotary wing, or well, I don't remember, I'm, I'm not up on all that, but a helicopter has a wing, and, you know, a series of wings that flip around and pulls it up. Uh, unless you have a rocket or something else that's going to propel you forward, you're pretty much stuck with Wright Brother technologies. And speakers, well, we have to move air. We have to take some kind of piston and move it back and forth to pressurize the air and to eventually pressurize our eardrums. Now, in defense of engineering and, and our craft, you might say, I've got a pair, you know, my earbuds, those earbuds, I think they're called. I mean, those are, those are phenomenal. Just little tiny things, wireless, stick inside of my ear, and I get pretty darn good fidelity. And sounds like, I don't know, doesn't sound as good as this, but sounds pretty good. That's a speaker. That's evolved a tremendous amount. But I think, getting back to the nature of your question, filling a room with sound until we can come up with some kind of transducer that doesn't require a large amount of surface area to move mass. I mean, the mass of the air has to move somehow. You're going to have large diaphragms. You're going to have woofers. Just the nature of physics and what you have to do to move air. So I think that's why, and airplanes will likely continue to have wings until somebody figures out how to defeat gravity and we get spaceships, you know, that float around. Speakers are going to continue to be big beasts that drive sound until somebody can figure out how to move the air without physical motion of a driver. So, best I got. Okay. Great question. I, I, I love the diversity of these questions. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.